Hey guys, and welcome back to Miss Azrael's Gaming. So we're going to continue with her story. And I don't know if you remember from the last one, but we learned that there's either twins or split personality. I'm leaning more towards twins. And one of them murdered uh, Simon, I believe was his name, and one of them was married to him, but they both sound like they were, so I'm really not sure. Okay, so we were going to continue here with Eve was our next one, and then I think we were going to do Florence, I believe was the next name, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these videos. Well, my friend Eve, she was a friend from when I was a kid, and she was always more popular with the boys, and I used to hate her for it. We really hate her sometimes. Yes, we'd fight. We fought on the beach once and I held Eve's head underwater. There was no one else around. It was at the far end of the beach. And I held her head under and I kept it out. And for a moment, I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. But that was it. It was just a moment. We made up afterwards. It was a love-hate relationship. Well, wow, that's pretty psychotic. A police station. When I was young, we ran away on my birthday. Bob Dylan was playing in London and we thought we could break into his tour bus and have him take us with him. The taxi driver we paid to drop us off, I mean, we'd saved money, pinched a bit here and there to pay for the fare. He was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. So they came and picked us up and took me back to Portsmouth. My mum picked me up from the station, but I blamed everything on my friend Eve, so my parents let me off. Okay, then she's Hannah. And this must be... is this Eve, maybe? I'm not sure. My mother called me Eve. Yeah. Try Florence. Florence took me home with her. Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up. Take away the evidence that this was anything but a happy occasion. Oh, okay, so Florence, who was the The woman that helped her mother deliver the twins kept one of the babies. Florence raised me in her home. I never left it. She kept me out of sight. It wasn't odd for people to see a midwife with a baby, carrying in supplies, washing nappies, that sort of thing. I never knew any different. I grew up looking out of my window and seeing her across the road. I thought it was like a reflection in the mirror. She was me. Florence was a warm, kind person. But she was broken, I guess. When I found her diary, I also found a biscuit tin with other stuff in it. Older papers, letters, that kind of thing. Her story was in there. I never really spoke to her about it. I was far too young to really understand. I guess I just put it together later, once I was older. She had loved children. Plan to have a large family. 
but her husband died in the war. And that's back when you married for life. She never felt like she could marry again. Isn't that strange? She was a widow from her twenties. But, I mean, I guess it was different then. You know, you married for life and she felt she could never marry again. I guess it was harder, a war widow. One of the dead. I, I don't know, maybe there was more to it than that. I don't really know. Hmm. No. It was just me and her. It was the name they were going to call their first child. They talked about it and were going to try when it came back. Florence's family had a history of first-born girls, so they were convinced it was going to be a girl. It's hard to know if this is all true. These are stories I remember that I read when I was a child. Maybe I misread, maybe I misunderstood. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to remember what happened last week. Hmm. Let's see, let's try... She's mentioned her quite a few times. There's probably a lot gonna come up under that. I don't see any, like, multiple. This looks like just this. Okay. There's a girl and she's staring out of the window. She's sad. She's trapped. She's here. She's looking out the window because her mother won't let her out. She's crying, I guess. She's sad because she thought she saw her husband with another woman. But it's okay because she finds out it wasn't her husband, it was his brother. And so it's fine. Okay. Um, she's being chased. Um, they're trying to catch her because she did something bad. I guess she broke the rules. Or maybe they think she did something bad. Maybe it wasn't her fault. She looks scared, not guilty. Maybe it was mistaken identity. Did they catch her there? I don't know. Hmm. Um, I hoover my dust every week, maybe less. I once asked Eleanor how often I should dust, and she said, if people ask, tell them you do it once a week, but every few weeks it's okay. I think she was just trying to make me feel better. I mean, when I was there, she was hoovering every day, you know, ran an ordered house. You know how that generation is, putting on a brave front. Hmm. She has secret stashes of cigarettes. Doug doesn't even know she smokes. When I was there, I saw her. She has these sort of porcelain vases, ornamental, next to the Reader's Digest books. Cigarettes inside. And she still has them. I mean, last time I was there, I looked in a vase. There was a fresh pack. I mean, all those years of marriage, and she still has a secret like that. Hmm. It's like some stuff fits in here and others doesn't. Let's try marriage. So, our sex life is probably fairly average for a couple after 10 years of marriage. Okay. Simon was very moral about that sort of thing. He wouldn't just walk out there and sleep with anyone. 
He wasn't that kind of guy. He, he took his marriage very seriously. After the kiss, the next time, he took me back to the house, to our parents' house, to their house. So, it was definitely him. I sometimes think he wanted to get caught to prove to himself that we were different people. He told me about his marriage, told me how his wife was completely different to me. <laughs> I almost burst out laughing. Hmm. Let's see, let's try... came up under that one. So that was just an idea I had. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's try a fair. An affair? Simon wasn't having an affair. You're reaching here, and I don't know why. No, I've never cheated on anyone. I've never taken anything from anyone. Simon is dead. But I have my baby to care for. Why are you trying to make me sad? Why are you so obsessed with sex and affairs? You cheated on your wife. Is this your thing? What did your wife do? She didn't clean you. <coughs> you think I killed Simon because he was having an affair? Well, I didn't kill him. I wasn't even there. I was in Glasgow worrying about whether my baby was still growing inside me. I mean, why would I kill Simon? I loved him! Let's try love. Thanks. Please find Simon. I love him so much. No. I mean, he was... Everyone loves Simon. He was so... nice to everyone. He loves me. Cute. You must love them very much. What ages are they? You want me to play something? I'm not the world's greatest guitar player. Okay. Once again, I don't get why there's a guitar and an interrogation. How about a traditional band? Should we light up your story? Pretty little face and her long blonde hair. All oh, the 
dreadful wind and rain. So she pushed her in and held her down. Oh, the wind and the rain watched her as she slowly drowned. Oh, the dreadful wind and rain. Oh, she floated up and she floated down. Okay, so we saw the first, the second part of that song, and I really feel like it kind of explains what was going on, because Eve was the younger sister, the captain's son is Simon, and Hannah is the oldest. So let's look up sister. Mm -hmm. uh, when she went home, Simon had a birthday tea waiting. Afterwards, she told Simon about me, told him I was pregnant. She wanted me to move in with them, this sister he didn't know she had. She knew that instant. The look on his face. She sent him out of the house, kicked him out, <coughs> called me up crying and I went round. I guess I had a feeling I could hear something was wrong in her voice, but I wasn't sure what it was. She called me sister on the phone. She never calls me that. My sister is gone. And she's never coming back. Hmm. So they were sisters and Eve is the only one alive. Let's try killed. I don't see how it's hard. We've established I was in Glasgow when he was killed. We spoke with the hospital. Hmm. I'm gonna look up. Let's try tattoo. No, he doesn't have any tattoos. He has a scar down here near his stomach, past his hip. Cut himself with some glass. That was before, a long time ago. He looks just like the photo. He's not got his glasses on here though, he takes them off for the camera. But he needs them to see properly, you know. He has to read a newspaper or a menu in a restaurant. Not books so much, or watching TV. He likes TV. Oh, my tattoo. <laughs> I got it to express my individuality. It's an apple and a snake. and a snake mm, like Adam and Eve so I moved out got a small bed set got my tattoo to mark the occasion I was singing in a bar in the evenings so I had some money enough money to cover my rent and I've been doing something similar ever since I haven't put down any roots. I don't exist. He saw me singing one of my shows, pure chance. 
I'm not sure I remember what he was even doing there. Afterwards, I had a drink at the bar and he came over and we got talking. I knew who he was. Obviously, I knew who he was. But he didn't know who I was. He was fascinated by the likeness. He guessed my name from my tattoo. <laughs> Told me it was a palindrome, like that would impress me. I enjoyed talking to him. It was amazing to be able to sit and interact and talk to him after all this time. He didn't tell me he was married. I'm not sure what he was thinking. He later told me it was like he was dreaming. A waking dream. Hmm. Let's try dream. When beautiful people died, we always felt like it was a sign. You remember Princess Grace? Grace Kelly? She died in a car crash the year before we met Simon. We used a Ouija board to speak to her, and that gave us the power to find him. That's what we thought then. That people who die tragically leave some kind of magic behind. We used to share dreams. We used to wake up and write them down in our diaries immediately and compare them. Hmm. Okay, since I did her, I'm gonna try him because they refer to Simon a lot as him. So we got one. He has a wallet, a huge silly thing, leather, real leather, I think. He packs it full of stuff, business cards, receipts, lottery tickets. He always carries it in his back pocket. I think that's why he's got a bad back. Sets the discs. I haven't seen it, so he must have it on him. He always takes it out of his back pocket before when he comes in, if he's in the house. Okay, let's try, let's try house. Sure, yes, of course, if that would help. Will you phone the house to let me know when you want to come round? Then I can make sure that I'm there. I wasn't in the house. I wasn't in the house all of Friday night. After the argument, after Sam left, I left too. I was upset and I wanted to get away. So I took the car. Okay. Let's try argument. It doesn't look like there's... It says nine entries. Access limited to the first. I wonder if... I'm just curious if I had that now. It doesn't. Doesn't remove it. Hmm. Let's try mirror, because I know that got brought up a few times. The mirror. I can't remember. I put it somewhere safe. Upstairs, I think. I haven't looked at it since. Silver leaf? No. And he normally silvers them properly. This mirror, it's supposed to look antique. The reflection isn't as good. It's the perfect mirror for someone who doesn't like to look at their own reflection. Let's try killed. No. Try downstairs because she mentioned how he was in the remember was it, maybe she's a basement. Okay. Um 
let's see. Let's try drowned. Sister, let's try twin. There we go. Twins. <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Twins. There were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins. Magical. We were the princesses. We had a poster of Princess Diana from the newspaper up in our attic. Had a pride of place. And underneath we used to put all our special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we felt for her. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. Okay, let's try Attic. <laughs> yes. I inherited it from my parents, so it made sense to move back, me and Simon. Felt like going back to old ways before the pregnancy. It reminded me of being a girl, the dollhouse in the attic, old things. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. Yes, I read a lot as a child and watched lots of TV. Then the doll's house we had, we still have in the attic. It's kind of a fairy castle. We used to play out there and make up our own stories. Could the hairs have come from somewhere else? I mean, could they? We have a lot of dolls in the attic. There's a Rapunzel doll with long blonde hair. Could they have come from there? Hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure where the dollhouse came from. I don't know if it was given to them or they inherited it. I mean, they wouldn't have had the money to buy it. It was so huge. <laughs> it must have been taken up to the attic in parts and then reassembled up there. It is a beautiful thing. Wallpaper to scale, little furniture, the lights work, mirrors, beds, big duvets and pillows. We spent hours and hours playing it, we invented all these characters and families who lived there. We wrote paperwork for them all, passports, diaries, we gave them all really elaborate stories. Once, a moth got trapped in there. We'd left a light on. It was making the most horrendous noise. We tried to kill it, but it was tough. We ended up crushing it under a copy of the Arabian Nights. Hmm. It says there's 12, but... We get access to those, so... Try dollhouse. The legal stuff was completed very quickly. Had moved back in with Simon. Eric gave Simon the week off to help with the move. He decorated, modernized wallpaper curtains. Hannah insists the attic be left as it was, dollhouse and all. Simon never went up there. Mother wanted me to grow my hair long, but 
I kept cutting it myself. I wanted to look like my reflection. She always had short hair when she was little. Mother would hide the scissors, but I would find a way. Cut it with a bread knife, something like that. My reflection would always leave her house and go on adventures, but I never could. Mother taught me at home, and I had books and TV. TV was magical, but it was only on when it wanted to be, so I spent a lot of time reading books. We were obsessed with fairy tales. Not just the pretty, pretty ones, but the traditional ones. They were dark and real, bizarre and violent. Felt like life. We had this huge old book that I think Mum must have bought from a library sale. The illustrations had thin tracing paper over them to protect them. They were in colour, shiny plates. At the front of the book, was an index of illustrations. We read that more than the actual stories. We'd read aloud the captions and flip between the pictures. There was something intimate about peeling back the tracing paper and dressing the pictures. Rapunzel's hair is cut. The eagle plucks out his heart. The princess pricks her finger. Try reflection. <laughs> yes. The first time we saw each other, it was strange. We both realised at the same moment, I think. We must have seen each other before, but there was this instant when we first realised it wasn't a reflection. The reflection was staring back. I think I was five. It was my birthday. My reflection was wearing a party hat and waving. I knew what party hats were from books. And it suddenly occurred to me, today must be my birthday. I waved back and we just spent ages waving at each other and copying each other's movements. I wanted to see my reflection. I thought that if I touched her, something would happen. We would become one. One girl. The fairy tale was over, the witch was dead, and I'd be restored to my rightful place. Let's try fairy. That's been brought up a lot of like fairy tales. Sorry, sorry. The picture the way it's drawn just reminded me of the books we used to read as children. I read those fairy tales over and over and they were so real to me. Rapunzel was my favourite. My brain is just full of it. How many of these in colour? And the glaziers. I worked there some weekends and someone had a part-time job there too. That was Eric's generosity. He was always good at helping out other people's children. Simon was quiet, more thoughtful than the other boys. Even then, he had a sense of craftsmanship. He wasn't always rushing stuff. Boys that age are just running around like headless chickens most of the time. Yeah. Plus, he had that look. He looked like a fairy tale prince from one of my books. Simon never cheated on me. He was devoted to me, and I was devoted to him. 
Nothing in life is easy. We were good to each other. Life isn't a fairy tale. Well, she wasn't my real mother, but she raised me. Do you want to hear the story? It's a real life fairy tale. Okay, let's look up a rest. Like I said, I think I was popping out to get something, ran out of something, had to grab something. I sometimes drive too fast. If you want, you can arrest me for that. Can I leave? Are you going to arrest me? No. They'd laugh you out of the building. A lawyer would make mincemeat of you. This is a nicer film. This is where you take people when it's time to arrest them. Yes. No, lawyer. What are you going to arrest me for? Mm, probably murdering Simon. Can you arrest someone who doesn't exist? What the? Hmm, this is new, so how's it going down there? Are you done? Uh, no. Okay, I'll hang a bit longer. Buzz when you're ready. Hmm, interesting. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I wonder if I can click on these things over here. Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> Maybe I should have done that first. Really read me? Hey, here's the database. I filed a freedom information form to get your, you guessed, access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the videos off the original tapes in 1999, and then the Y2K thing hit, and they got mothballed. No one has touched them since. I couldn't find the server with the detective's footage on. Possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 1997, but figured this would be enough. Take your time, SB. Oh, probably should have looked at that first. Well, computer technology... So computer technology is the backbone of modern police work. The logic database is one of the many continued efforts to digitize our workflow and preserve evidence in a manner which will allow you to work more efficiently. In the coming years, the computer will continue to be the most valuable item in your crime fighting toolkit. This database features footage transferred from the existing homicide and serious crime tape archive at Portsmouth. It has been automatically sorted using the ASR technology. Each statement made by the interview participant is stored separately so they can be tagged for submission to court. The audio has been digitally uh, stenographed and the content of the testimony is attached to each clip. To retrieve a clip, type in a word into the search field, click search, and the database will return all the clips in which the speaker uses the word. To narrow search, use multiple words. If you are working from a printed transcript, you can even uh, be even more precise. Use inverted commas to search for exact matters against the entire statement. So, like, yes, I was there. To store a clip for later reference, also add a session. Also, if you wish to add additional tags on your own to help future surface, please click in the user tags box and type in your desired tags. For any further assistance, please contact your department's information technology representative, police information technology organization. Yeah, I probably should have clicked on that early on, but. Oh, hack info. Uh, mirror games, Cyber Ghost, The Legends, You Never See Us, Illusionist. Hmm. It's a person. Crack with glass. Mirror game. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Let's do one more and then I'll probably it quits there. I'm trying to, it's so hard to try to like remember. I wonder though if I type in like, let's say I did a rest again, do I get a different set of videos? No, because it was just five. So what if I did, what was one? Okay, let's try Simon. Is there 61 entries for that? But yeah, yeah, you only get the five. Okay, so Hmm. 
Hmm, what could be something? I think I, I did baby, didn't I? Because I know that baby was brought up. Yeah, I've done baby. Uh, I know, let's try bar because she mentioned that she worked at a bar. Got a couple new ones. Are you sure? What would you be doing in Oxford if there was no conference? I remember calling him. He said it was boring and he spent most of the time at the bar. Nothing else happened that night. We talked, then I said goodbye. Then next week I was singing the bar again and there he was. And again the next week, he offered to buy me a meal. I told them I had already eaten, um, and so we got chips and ate them on the beach instead. <laughs> when we said goodbye, he asked me to kiss him. <laughs> Romantic. No. I told her it was one of my boyfriends, someone I had met in the bar. <sighs> I think she was happy. But I could tell she was thinking, why couldn't it happen to her and Simon? They were the ones with the real life. Why not them? Hmm. So it seems that Simon and Hannah weren't able to have a baby. And then he met Eve and she got pregnant from Simon. So that's interesting. Well, guys, let me know in the comments, you know, what you think about this game. It's really interesting. Now, from what I have, I've read a little bit about it, and I believe that there's not really a, like, a complete ending. Like, you're not going to get an ending. You basically just get the story from these bits and pieces that you find, and you got to kind of put it together. There's no ending that really comes from this. Uh, you know, once we eventually, I think you have to search, like, all the words or something like that, or, you know, get the see them like the main points um to the the story of it all um you know so yeah just let me uh, know what you think about it in the comments you know what you think is going on here i think we've you know we kind of fleshed it out a little bit more and we know a little bit more and we know that there was two sisters and obviously they were in love with the same man simon and but he ended up dead and we don't know which one of them did it uh, obviously Hannah is no longer alive and Eve is the one that was left to tell the story um, yeah so just leave me a like subscribe if you haven't share this video with somebody you think might enjoy it and I'll see you next time bye